Hello friends and welcome back to the cottage. <laughs> so I have a I have a very fun video for you guys today because um, on the weekend my daughter and I um, did some shopping and I picked up some things for Kale and uh, Claire. And if you have not met Kale and Claire, they are, well, they're right here, looking totally scrumptious in their bouncy chair. They are boy and girl identical twins. They are the Pickle Sculpt by Nikki Johnson. And they are replicas. They are not authentics. They are replicas of the Pickle Sculpt. And I ordered them on Timu from a company called iCradle. And I really, really love them. I really love them. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the goodies that I picked up for them um, at Walmart. And I have some, you know, kind of serious stuff to talk about today as well. So it's kind of the sweet and the sour, I guess, <laughs> because, um, yeah, you know, we've, we've got some stuff going on in our family right now, some, you know, some tough stuff, and um, it just has really, really made me, um, it's just given me perspective on everything that has gone down with Reborns.com and, um, you know, with the people that jumped on board to just be hateful and um, towards myself and my friends. And uh, it's just given me a lot of, you know, real perspective because I feel like I sort of lost my way with that whole situation. Anyway, I want you guys to flop down in a comfy chair, Grab yourself a cold drink or a hot drink, whatever you're feeling. I've got myself a cold drink. I've actually got myself an energy drink today because um, I had a migraine yesterday and I got absolutely nothing done. So now I got a whole lot to get done today. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so we went to Walmart. I think it was Saturday and you guys know I live for matchy matchy like oh gosh there's nothing I like better than matchy matchy but because they are a boy and a girl Kale and Claire I had to find outfits that would um, that they could you know they could have matching but that were unisex which, you know, you'd think it wouldn't be that hard, but it actually is kind of hard. Um, the Walmart that we go to, it's about, oh, it's about 45 minute drive from here. Um, sometimes an hour, depending on the traffic. And uh, it's, it's kind of a hit or a miss. Uh, sometimes it's really well stocked. Other times, not so much. This time, it was really, really well stocked. Oh, first of all, I wanted to show you guys this. Um... This is, I'm needing uh, new stuffing because I'm out of stuffing um, and I am wanting to put my um, Cindy Lou Who from Paradise Galleries on a new body and like restuff her and they did not have the usual stuffing that I use. I'm actually really curious. This is called Unique Creative. And this is eight ounces vacuum packed stuffing. It looks good to me. And you know what? It feels really, really soft. So I'm really, really curious to find out what this what this feels like. If it's as nice as the other stuff. It's hypoallergenic and washable. Um, anyway, to be continued. Um, and this was really reasonably priced as well. It was really, I think this was like $5. So I am going to be putting Cindy Lou Who on a new body from McPherson's because I do not like her Paradise Galleries body and I will share that with you guys in case you would like to do the same. Okay, so like I said, it was not easy finding 
unisex outfits. Um, but look what I found. Um, now these are made by George, uh, you know, the company um, that you find at Walmart. Um, but look what I found. So I've, it's two sleepers. One is Heather Gray and it has got teal, um, seafoam green, kind of a taupe and a goldenrod yellow rainbow on it. And in my opinion, this is completely unisex. I mean, looks cute on a girl, looks cute on a boy. Now it was a two pack for $12, which I thought was a really good price. And this is the second one. It is, it's got a white background and then it has got, oh gosh, it's got everything, zebras, monkeys. It's even got dinosaurs, which is interesting. It's got dinosaurs, crocodiles. Like it's a really sweet print. Very, very sweet print. And then um, the seafoam green is is um, in this as well with the um, palm trees. And then of course there's some rainbows like the, the Heather Gray ones. I just thought this was really cute and I really, really feel like it's, you know, it's, it's neutral. It's gender neutral. I mean, cute on a girl and cute on a boy, in my opinion. But here's the best part. This is the absolute best part. So, um, those, uh, so I got one for each of them, of course. I got, you know, two sets and at, I think they were $12. I mean, that's certainly, uh, not a bad price at all. I got, um, I got three to six months, and this is the cutest part of all. For kale, they had so they had all the matching stuff. They had burp cloths, they had onesies, they had all you know because George does that. They'll they'll have everything matchy matchy. But so for kale, I got the three pack of hats. One's Heather Gray. One's, you know, the animal pattern, and one is this beautiful teal green. And this is really cute, you guys. Look at this. They had the, um, the turban headbands. So, <laughs> so hats, hats for Kale and the turban headbands for Claire, which I thought was really fun. Really, really fun. So I thought maybe we would change them into these. I, I'm really dying to see what the rainbow one looks like. I think, yeah, I think I really want to try the rainbow one first. Um, I just think it's so precious. But I thought we would change them. And while I am changing them, um, I thought we could talk about um, kind of the aftermath, you know, the calm after the storm. Um, the aftermath of myself and my sis, uh, sister Cena being kicked out of Reborns.com for, you know, essentially owning replica dolls and showing them on our, on our channel because that's what it all comes down to. I mean, Dave from Reborns.com can say, you know, everything he wants to say, but um, that's, you know, that's what happened. Let's be honest. Let's all be honest with each other. We got kicked off because um, we both have, you know, active, prominent channels on YouTube and we are both, we both show um, replicas on our channel. That's, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, <laughs> this whole, oh, well, you got kicked off Reborns.com. This is Dave talking um, because you sold a doll on your channel. Um, yeah, that's not it. <laughs> That's not it. Or what was the other reason? I sold a doll on my channel and oh, and that I have a doll group, all dolls welcome. Um, those that was his reasoning on why I got kicked off, but that's that's not it. I mean, it all comes down to the fact that I've got almost ten thousand subscribers and on my channel. And, um, and that I, you know, I show replicas because I own three of them. Anyway, I want to talk about my feelings surrounding that because there was a whole lot of, um, you know, videos being made. I was making videos. Sino was making videos. Spring Flower was making videos. Linda made a video. 
Um, like a whole lot of my dolly friends really, I, I mean, I could just weep talking about how incredibly supportive um, my dolly friends have been in regards to us being kicked off that site. Um, but I also want to talk about, look at this boy, you guys, look at this boy. I think I'm going to just lift, I'm still kind of working with this tripod. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at, the cuteness is real. The cuteness is real. Look at that boy. <laughs> look at him. Okay. Anyway, with all of that going on, you know, after I initially found out I'd been kicked off Reborns.com and, you know, then all talking back and forth with Dave, back and forth, back and forth, um, trying to get some perspective on, you know, what happened and why did it happen and, um, you know, and talking with all my Dolly friends and sisters about it and having some pretty hurt feelings, you guys some pretty hurt feelings because that's just, you know, how it is when you have, in my case, work-related PTSD. When people um, exclude you or talk badly about you, um, you take it a lot harder than, I mean, some maybe some people are always like that. I was not. Um, you know, growing up and, uh, growing up and um I have always been a really confident person and and you know and had a very strong conviction about myself how I felt about myself um but after you know work related experiences caused me to develop PTSD um all of that changed I suddenly became very I guess thin skinned um, very thin skinned and, uh, very, um, you know, if, if people are cruel to me, um, I, I really get hurt feelings. You know, I lose sleep. I have a hard time thinking about anything else, um, other than, you know, how I've been treated, wrongfully treated in my opinion. Um, and you know, that's my opinion, you know being tossed off reborns.com after being a plate and professional seller for many years and buyer seller and buyer um I found that very hurtful and I took it pretty hard and uh thank god for Sina and Spring Flower and um and Tanya and um a lot of other Dolly friends that checked in on me and have just been so so kind and so supportive to me um because that really helped a lot because like I told you guys in a previous video I could not go to I I tried talking to my mom about it but it was just so hard for her to understand because she's not in the community and um yeah you know there was I had some pretty long you know visits um on Facebook messenger with spring flower and Sina because I was really struggling, like I was really struggling with my feelings about, you know, I just felt so, you know, hurt. And uh, I still feel very hurt about the situation. And I understand that uh, um, Shelby, who used to be a, a very, a, a very good friend of mine, we were on Facebook um, we were friends on Facebook and we chatted back and forth and I, I, I just really got a kick out of her. thought she was a really, you know, kind of a, a really interesting person. I understand she made just an ugly video and, um, and then, you know, her bestie Kelly girl, who I always, I had always been told had a lot of integrity, was very well respected in the community for having a lot of integrity. I understand that she was over there. Um, just making just really ugly, ugly um, comments on Shelby's video. And I wouldn't have known that because I stayed away from that. But my friend Linda screenshotted 
some of Kelly's comments and sent them to me this morning and I read them and I just thought, wow, you're sure not the person I thought you were, you know? You're definitely not the person I thought you were. You know, her, her comments were very cruel and just gross, just ugly, you know? Oh my gosh, look how cute, you guys. Doesn't he look so sweet? Oh. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys about was um, we had a very, very tragic loss in our family. Very, And I'm going to try and say this really quick because I don't want to have a big boo-hoo. But, um, but our nephew, our 23-year-old nephew, um, and his best friend, both of them, you know, in their early 20s, had an accident and were killed. And um, he was a, just a lovely, lovely boy. He was a lovely, lovely, lovely boy. And, of course, you know, I changed his diaper and cuddled him as a baby. And his memorial was on Sunday. We attended his memorial. And it was the saddest, saddest experience. I mean, it was a, it was a, a you know, gymnasium full of people probably a hundred people if not more just sobbing because he was 23 he had his whole life ahead of him and um you know his life was cut short by just a terrible accident and uh you know of course all the family was there um he was my my husband's oldest sister's youngest child and um he was just a beautiful boy. I just think about him as a baby. He had the biggest blue eyes and soft curls. And he was just very kind. He was kind. And he had a very, very, very um, co committed relationship with the Lord. And that is a huge, um, that is a huge thing to know that he is with, you know, our Lord and Savior. And he's, he's resting in the arms of our Lord and Savior. Anyway, I'm not trying to, what I'm trying to say with that is that um, attending that memorial on Sunday, it just put everything into perspective. Like here I've been for, you know, two weeks wandering around feeling like someone kicked me in the butt, feeling so um, just hurt that, you know, Dave Stack kicked me off Reborns.com and, you know, Shelby's over there making ugly videos and I don't know how many other people. Um, Kelly Girl's over there making ugly comments on her videos. I mean, and me just feeling like really bad about it. And I, you know what? I honestly just thought, when I woke up this morning, I, I thought to myself, what the heck, Julie? Like, you need to give your head a shake. <laughs> That's an expression my dad used to say. <laughs> you know, I was like, you need to give your head a shake because this, what's happening in your, you know, online life, your, your, your online life, because I think that we all have both, you know, we have our our lives with our families and our friends and our pets and all that. And then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have kind of our YouTube life or Facebook life. Um, and my, my uh, life outside of Facebook and YouTube is a very, very full, busy life. You know, I, I, I have, I have the farm here and I have, you know, my husband who's my best friend and, um, and I have, you know, f actual friends, not doll friends, but farm friends, um, that I love to spend time with. And I have, you know, a mom who's my best friend and I have two daughters and a son and we're a super close family. We're a super duper close family. Like we are... Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing I'm very proud of in raising my kids that are, that our kids are so close and my husband and I are so close to them um, that, you know, we raise them to be very loving individuals. Anyway, um, I have a whole life outside of YouTube and Facebook and the fact that I allowed this 
Dave Stack and his and this RAA or whatever it's called um, and you know the nasty ladies making videos about it and stuff actually take away from my life my real life um, makes me feel like what the heck you know I understand and I forgive myself for allowing myself to get so sucked into it because that's just my PTSD you know but but on the other hand I I have to do what my dad used to say give your head a shake I really needed to give my head a shake because the dolls and Facebook and YouTube, that's, that's a hobby. That's a fun hobby that I love, that I love. I love my ladies Facebook group. I love the, you know, the, the ladies in my ladies Facebook group. Um, and you know, Lisa, Lisa and Lee, my, the, the two other admins in my group, they are just, you know, just amazing ladies, like just kind, fantastic ladies and every opportunity I have to chat with them is just a blessing to me and my YouTube channel I mean you guys are so you're so kind to me you're so kind and you know whether I'm showing dolls or I'm showing you you know around the farm or whatever you're just so kind you're so complimentary kind and that's what this is all about not some bozo who kicked me off his website because of some RAA. Like, I don't even know who those people are. Like, I don't really even know anything about that group. I don't know those ladies. I understand they're not even in, you know, Canada they're US or U.S. They're in, like, Australia or something. How could I have allowed myself... And you know what? Spring Flower and Cena said to me repeatedly when I was going back and forth with Dave Stack trying to come to some resolution, um, they said to me, block him, block him, block him. Like, stop talking to him. And I just continue talking to him because I felt like maybe we could come to some resolution. Like, maybe we could... I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I thought that maybe we could come to some agreement on you know how everybody could enjoy that site um, without having to feel like they couldn't collect and enjoy what they they what they choose to collect and enjoy but you know at the end of the day uh, after dozens of emails going back and forth I realized that that Dave was so intertwined with this re alliance group he was like so intertwined and you know he was so into the cult of them that there was just no way of us coming to any sort of agreement that would you know that would work for everybody the all dolls people and the authentic people and and that's what I'm calling it if there's if you're gonna call it two groups if you're gonna like if you're gonna call it two different groups um in my mind, there is the authentic people and then there are the all dolls people because you can't say I'm a replica collector. I have these two babies and I have Esme. I've had Esme for years and uh, and I have no intention of buying more replicas, not because I don't I don't keep seeing ones that are just gorgeous that I would love, but because I don't have the space and you guys know I don't I don't I can't. If I get overwhelmed, I freak out and sell everything, and then I regret it later. So I don't have any more space in my, my nursery um, to add any more dolls to my collection. Plus, I personally find that I, um, I enjoy my dolls more if I have fewer of them. You know, the more dolls I get, the less I enjoy them. So with the two babies coming home, from, from Jen Jen, um, the babies that are, you know, that were originally mine and left on trades and that are coming home, hopefully today, um, they, they will make 10. They will make 10 dolls. 
and uh, and that's my limit. That is absolutely my limit. My, let me think here. I have, so I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you include Cindy Lou Who, that's nine. And then with uh, with uh, Jack Gordon coming home, that will make ten. That will make ten reborn or reborn type dolls. And then of course my, I'll have my two silicone girls. And that's my limit. That is my limit. That's not my limit for American Girl. I want more American Girls. I want more soft sculpture Cabbage Patch dolls because oh my gosh, I love those, you guys. Um, yeah, I, w I would like more American girls. I, I love American girls. I really love them. And and I like porcelain dolls, too. I wouldn't mind a few more of those if I can find a spot for them. Um, but, you know, once my, my baby doll collection is complete, um, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So... Because, you know, I've set, I set that limit for myself. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Jack Gordon will make ten. Ten dolls. And that's, I told myself when I did my big purge and sold off a ton of dolls that I would never have more than ten um, baby dolls. The jury's still out on the whole AG thing. But anyway, anyway, I... I lost perspective. I lost perspective. I got, I got hurt feelings. Um, you know, I listened to people like Shelby and Kelly girl and, um, Dave, <laughs> Dave. Oh my gosh, that guy. Um, and, and, you know, got caught up in this, this situation. And after attending that memorial on Sunday, I just thought, what the heck? Like, I really need to put things in perspective this is my hobby these are friggin dolls and um and getting all hurt feelings about uh who says I can have these dolls or who says I can't or who says what group I can be in um because I have whatever dolls like holy cow you guys who the heck cares I'm in Three amazing Facebook groups. My own All Dolls Welcome, um, my my friend Jen's Just Dolls, and um, and Stephanie Ortiz's All Dolls Matter. We have and oh sorry, uh, there's four actually. I'm also in no, I guess there three, four, five, five. Okay, I'm in a a, a couple of very small um, groups as well. Um, with some of my sisters. But they're not, they're smaller groups, more kind of smaller intimate type groups. But anyway, I'm in, all the groups that I'm in <clears throat> are all dolls welcome. We have a lot of fun, a lot of, you know, kinship and laughs and, um, and who, who cares about all the rest of the stuff? Who cares about Reborns.com? I don't have any dolls. To, I have no intention of selling any dolls. I mean, I, for myself, I am going to be selling some dolls for Jen Jen because she's downsizing her collection. But for me personally, I have no intention of selling any of my dolls. If I'm going to downsize, I'll be gifting these dolls, you know, my replicas um, and my and my authentics. They're they're here for good. Like I, they're, you know. They've made it through, I don't know how many purges and they're still here. So clearly they're meant to be here. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, anyway, I hope that made some sense. I feel like I'm just rambling. I hope that made some sense. I'm, I mean, I'm just to recap, I'm basically just telling you that sometimes I think that we get so caught up in the drama in the doll community that we lose perspective and it starts feeling like this is, you know, this is real life. And it's not. It's a hobby. Real life is here with my family at the farm with my animals. And, uh, I, you know, the two sometimes collide and I got to shake my head and say, wait a minute, who cares? This is a doll hobby. Anyway, I hope that made some sense. Look how gorgeous my two little 
babies look. My two little replica babies that I just love so much, Kale and Claire. See, he's got the hat on, and then she's got the turban on. Isn't that so cute? I gotta do a photo shoot. They look so sweet. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care.